This is the 8th uh, grade TCAP practice math test. Um, this is question number 54. This question is a really weird drawing to go nowhere. Anyway, a student designed a rectangular flag for a school project as shown below. The diagonal distance is 5 feet. And they give you this box here with the formula in it. That's important. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. If the length of the flag is 4 feet, what is the width? So we are looking for this which is the same as this. If this is 4 and it's a rectangle, this is 4 as well. Looky what shape we have here, despite my inability to draw well in the bottom left corner. If this is a rectangle, this is a right angle. This is perfect Pythagorean theorem question. What they want to know is what x is. Now, when I'm given the Pythagorean theorem, I'm going to rewrite it over here just so I can work with it. Typing stuff in the calculator is a great way to get lost. The next thing that I need to do when I'm working with Pythagorean Theorem is put my finger right here in the right angle. The reason I want to do that is because the two sides that make up that right angle are going to be my A and B. So as you can see, 4 and X both make up that right angle. So that means that 4 squared is my A squared and B is my X. And my C, which would be the opposite side, which is right there, would be 5. The side that doesn't make up the right angle is the hypotenuse, so that becomes the C squared side. Now, I need to work the math, so I do 16, 25, X squared. Draw my line to get rid, I need to get X by itself, so I need to get rid of plus 16, so I subtract. X squared equals 9. Now, we're almost done. In fact, the answer says 9, but you have to be very careful about stuff like that. This is not x, it's x squared. So it's a square, just like the 4 was a square and the 5 was a square. And if you took all the square of 3 and broke it into a square of uh, this 9 square here and the 4 square and the whole thing and plugged it in, it fit perfectly in that 25, which is what 5 times 5 is. Anyway, so I'm not looking for just uh, the 9, which would be this. I just want to know what the root of it is, the bottom row. So I take the square root of both these numbers. So my answer is x is equal to the square root of 9, which is 3. So don't forget and do something silly on test day and not do the square root. The square root has to be done because I don't want to know what the square is. I want to know what the side is. 